Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Wealth Giants with Ryan. Uh, this is kind of a rebranding. I'm kind of back after a long, long time of not being here. And I apologize to those who were subscribed to me and I just kind of dropped out on you guys. Well, life happened. I was a new YouTuber, wasn't really, didn't really have time for it. Um, it's not that I didn't have time when I started. It was more of school, just kind of just smacked me across the face. It just got really hard all of a sudden. I was starting my family. My family really needed me. There was a few family issues that kind of came up. And not to mention I moved. I moved from middle of nowhere, Idaho, out here to Las Vegas. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait to kind of expand my horizon and meet new people and kind of, you know, build my wealth from there. Um, but most importantly, I have time now that I can actually start talking about YouTube. Now YouTube, sorry, YouTube, uh, wealth and financial stuff. Um, now, for those of you who used to be here, this used to be a, I was more of a Shopify uh, drop shipping guru. I'm, I haven't been doing that. I had to kind of stop doing that. It wasn't that I wasn't making money or uh, I was losing money. It was more of I just didn't have time and the returns were just not worth it at the time. I am currently trying to work with somebody right now to kind of get another one started up and if that works out then I'll, I'll start YouTubing about it again kind of showing you guys how my new approach is. I've learned a lot from my mistakes from the past and I'm going to use that. But I'm going to be talking about financial definitions and also how to build wealth with stock trading and real estate and um, just how to per budget your money and budget your time and build your wealth and knowledge as well. I, you know, the average CEO reads around 60 books a year and I was like, wow, that's a lot and I, I don't do that. Uh, so this year I set a goal to read four books a month and right now I'm on track to reading 48 books this year. And no, they're not a bunch of harlequin romances or anything like that. It's actually real financial books. I've been reading a lot of autobiographies such as Phil Knight, um, Oh gosh, you put me on the spotlight. Steve Jobs, Rockefeller, you know, people like that, as well as uh, Grant Cardone, Robert Kiyosaki books as well. And, you know, a lot of wealth building knowledge books. And I want to share some of the inputs and ideas that I got from those. Um, but to leave you guys with a good, uh, educational sort of moral story. I was with a bunch of colleagues uh, a while back and I was asking them a question and I kind of wanted to gauge where I was at with them and like uh, how could I kind of determine who are my people that I want to be around because you want to be around like-minded people and that's another reason why I started this YouTube channel is to be around more like-minded people. But my question for them was this, if you could take $30,000 right now or $200, $200 a month, which would you choose? And the $200 a month is for the rest of your life. A lot of people were like, oh, I take the 30,000, I need to pay off my mortgage, I need to pay, pay some of my mortgage, mortgages are more expensive than $30,000, uh, pay off some of my mortgage, I need to pay off my car, I need to pay off some student loan debt. I gotta, you know, so many different little, little things that they have to pay for that just depletes that $30,000 right away. Or they could take the eight, $200 a month for the rest of their life. Now, granted, if you think about it, $200, $200 a month for the rest of your life, depending on how long you live, hopefully you live a long and prosperous life, but $200 a month for a year is 8% on that $30,000. Now, some people realize that and they were like, that's really good. That's better than what the S&P 500 does sometimes. Uh, sometimes the S&P 500 doesn't do as good as 8% a year. So the main thing is, is looking at that and being like, that's constant income. That's cash flow into my being that I don't work for, that it's just there every month. It's reliable. If I lose my job, at least I have that $200 coming in um, every single month. Now, that's the mentality, and when people started saying, I take the 200, I knew those were the type of people I wanted to be around. Those are the people I can talk about, about finances and uh, wealth building ideas and strategies. And those are the people that I'm trying to bring into this YouTube community. Um, follow my Instagram account, my Twitter, I'm gonna be posting in those constantly. If you like the idea and the wealth building concept, and becoming a wealth giant, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please smash that like button.